Bless the Lord, church. Bless the Lord, saints. Bless the Lord. Let me hear you bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, choir. Bless the Lord, musicians. Let me hear you bless them. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to his name. Hallelujah. Please join us in our opening call to worship. Hallelujah. Everybody say, holy, 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 lift it, church.
know he is Lord he is Lord if you know that all is well he is Lord uh, you may be seated for a minute <laughs> uh, praise the Lord he is Lord he is Lord <laughs> Savior and Lord he's our King uh, I'm here to See if there's any first-time visitors. Anybody here for the first time? All home folks, visitors says it's too cold. I just miss it. <laughs> All home folks, well, we just praise the Lord uh, for another day, another opportunity. Although I've been praying for snow all week, but he is Lord. So, amen, amen. God is good. Well, we're going to go into the responsive reading. So if you stand again, the reading of God's word. And it's in Revelation 4. Uh, and this passage is letting us know that he is Lord. He is Lord and he is worthy of our praise. And it said, as John got this revelation, after these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. And he who sat there was like a jasper and a sort of stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emperor. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And the first living creature was like a lion. The seven living creature was like a calf. The third living creature had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. Can we read that last one again? Because that's what it's about. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creature give glory and honor 
and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever. There are 24 hours fall. Jesus. Worship him. Let's pray. And we cast it. You are worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they exist and were created praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 holy 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 that's what we want to cry before the lord today because he is a holy god and he created everything and that's what we want today to know who god is is your hunger today to know god more to know who he is that's what i want I'm not looking always for his hand, but I'm looking for his face because I want to know him more in his power because it says you are worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they exist and were created and he created us. He created us. You're created by him and created for him. A workmanship. That's what we're created for good work. So we're going to go to God in prayer because we know his ears are open to the cry of the righteous. Ah, Father, we just come to you today as we cry out holy 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 because you are a holy God you are a everlasting God you are an all power God and an all knowing God so Lord we just thank you today because we have the opportunity to come before your throne as the 24 elders God now we can come today and cast down our crowns and say holy 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 you are worthy almighty God you are worthy of all the honor and the glory and the power and we just give it to you today because of you father God because we were created by you and for you my God and you inhabit the praises of your people so you are resting right here today day with us you are visiting today God and we want to be like Isaiah God that your glory fills our temple today because you be thy glorified God that we will know your heart God that we will know your mind God as we draw closer and seek your face father God to know that you are sovereign and you reign today and you reign in majesty and we just give you the praise today God we thank you that everything that's done and said here everything God that you will be thy glorified from the children's church all the way to the balcony God be glorified because it is all about you God and it is a time now for us to be fervent my God in the name of Jesus seeking you my God standing before you my God in authentic being real God casting off and throwing off every sin and weight that so easily beset us God God we come with a repentant heart today my God to see your glory God to know God that we are not here out of habit of religiosity but we come in my God to worship you my God hey my God to worship
worship you today, God. And Father, we thank you today as you anoint our pastor, God, and give him strength, God, as he bring forth your word, God, because your word is anointed and that it will do what you sent it out to do. God, that souls will be delivered today, God. Minds will be regulated today, God. Oppression and depression have to fall off today, God. And whatever circumstance, whatever illness, whatever heartaches anyone is going through, we know we can bring it to your throne. My God, and leave it there because you are a prayer answering God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is great and he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, we just thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord God. He is good. He is good. No matter what it looks like, he is good. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you. And as we prepare our hearts and our minds to give in the offering, there are three ways that we normally list on the screen, but actually four. We can give in person in the places the ushers are coming forward. We can give by texting the word give to 844-626-1671. And we can give online at eastwaychurchofgod.org or you can mail it in through the snail mail and just like that, snail mail. But either way, let's give with a cheerful heart because when God gives to us, he blesses us even when we don't deserve it. Even when we don't deserve it, he still blesses us. So let's bow our heads. Most Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. And oh God, we just thank you for this time and this opportunity to give back to you, oh God, what is just rightfully yours. We thank you, oh God, because it is by your mighty hand that you provided for us, Lord. So as we give these tithes and these offerings, oh God, some above and beyond what we are called to do, Lord. Father, we ask you to bless our leaders. Give them knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Father, help us to be good stewards over everything, oh God, you place in our hands. Not just monetary, God, but everything. Every talent, gift, skill, and ability. Help us to be good stewards of it, oh God. And we will not forget to give your name all the praise because you are worthy. And it is in the precious, mighty, matchless, wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Yeah. 
They will be filled. They will be filled. This is the kingdom. This is the kingdom. This is the kingdom of heaven. Ask and he will. Oh, yes, he will.
Testify church.
world behind me. cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. No
again committed ourselves by singing I've decided to follow you with made up minds with hearts it's not about our kingdom it's all about your kingdom and we want your will to be done in each and every life here this morning and we thank you God for made up minds we thank you Lord that your presence has graced this place once again we are here. We are here to worship you in spirit and in truth, to be a blessing to you, Lord, but also to receive from your hand. Lord, we seek your face in this moment. Pray, God, that you will just touch the rest of this service as we break bread together at the table of the Lord. Your will be done. Speak to us today. You know you know what every heart needs and you are here Lord to touch us in Jesus name Amen I'm going to invite everybody to stand just for a moment before we get into the word of God I, I want you to reach to those around you and just greet them with Christian love and fellowship saying glad to see you here in God's house I join with Addie and welcoming each and every one here and those viewing by live stream. God bless you today. We're so thankful that you have chosen to be with us here at Eastway via our live stream. Pray that you are blessed right there where you're at. Many of whom are our regular attenders and we do understand that today is a very frigid day. So we pray that the presence of the Lord warms you right there where you're at as he is warming our hearts here this morning. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. Amen. Thank you, Sister Kim, praise choir musicians, for leading us into the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you're taking your seats. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I trust and pray that you, each and every one, has had a great week this week. It's been a very full week for me. I had several opportunities for ministry this week. Um, some where we were ministering to desperate, desperate people. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just take a moment and just thank him for all he's done for you. That you blessed us. Gave us a warm place to sleep last night. 
We are so blessed. Blessed beyond measure. As one sister put it this morning, blessed and highly favored. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Sister Addie, I know you've been praying for snow. <laughs> Reminds me of some time I had with Pastor Ken this week. He and I are meeting every week now and strategizing together as it relates to ministering to the homeless here in Charlotte. But he told me once... One summer he was preaching downtown Charlotte, and it was so hot, so hot, and he had not showered, and he was just roasting, and he looked up toward heaven and said, God, please give me some relief, and it began to rain in that moment. The unique thing about it was, and this is his testimony, if he were here, he would say, he would tell us. The unique thing about it was it only rained on that corner where he was standing. So, Sister Addie, I pray it only snows at your house. <laughs> Amen. You keep praying, sis. It's coming. February is around the corner, and that's when it's going to come. Amen. Amen. I woke up at 1.40 this morning, the Lord stirring my heart, and immediately reminded me of Isaiah 61 and 3. The Bible says that God provides for those who grieve. He gives beauty for ashes. Come on, somebody. The oil of joy for mourning and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And I believe that he's wanting to do that for us here this morning. He's wanting to take our burned out places and give us beautiful places. He's wanting to anoint us with an oil of gladness. He's wanting to give us, as he has already, a garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. You realize you're blessed already. If we said amen right now, dismissed and went home, you're already blessed. And one reason I can say that is we read together responsively out of the book of Revelation. Revelation 1 and 3 says... Blessed are they who read and hear and keep the words therein. So as we have even read today out of Revelation, we have received a blessing. But I think there's more in store for us. So if you'll open your Bible, Bibles to 2 Corinthians, that letter that Paul and Timothy wrote to the church at Corinth, I want to revisit this portion of Scripture, and I just want us to, to look at the fact that desperate people get our Lord's attention.
Thank you.